You know that annoying woman that you see every day? Maybe she's just too perfect, or maybe you think she got the promotion you thought you would get. You find yourself getting lost in jealousy and dreaming about her being embarrassed or running into some bad luck. Well, you can take charge and put her in her place, at least in Photoshop. I'll give you some devious ideas and at the end, go through the process I used to create the images. Let's start with her morning. When she looks in the mirror, it won't be an hourglass figure she sees, but something more like a funhouse reflect. And her makeup will look like she put it on with her eyes closed. Oh, and when she's walking on the beach, it won't be a dog she meets. It will be a lion. That's not a lion. This is a lion. Wait, she sings too? Today, when she opens her mouth, it won't be a beautiful song that comes out. It will be a fountain of frogs. So, now you've done it. You've put together a nightmare day for her. But do you really feel better? Maybe for a minute. But the next time you see her, all the envy will come back unless you're different. You can remind yourself who you are and show us your soul with a portrait. Or show us your power, your dreams, with an epic photo. You'll see yourself in a different light. And that woman will see it too. She'll be the one looking up to you. Here's the original image. She needed a bigger place in order to fit the frame, so I went and found her something I thought looked like a nice stucco wall. It turned out to be a piece of paper with two great different colors on it. I then added her back in and softened the edges so that she blended in better and painted over the walls to give a little of a light cast and um, give her more of a place. Then I added her nightmare makeup and given that she wasn't looking her best, I figured those inner voices in her head would be going nuts. So I added a ring of critics around her to remind her of how things were going. And now for the walk on the beach. I started with this lion. He was in grass originally, so you can see he's kind of minus his feet at the moment. Um, what I did then was, because I wanted him to have a very fierce looking head, I removed his head from his body, found another head that was much angrier, did some work to try to make his mane fuller, found an image of a woman walking on the beach, extended the beach to cover the full size of the screen, flipped her so that we could have a better relationship or worse between her and the lion, brought the lion back in, fixed it so that um, there were no extras. Now, I did a little more on this to finalize it so that the lion was um, not transparent, but that's basically the steps that I went through on this image. Next, we'll look at the singer. This was a fun one. <laughs> it started out with the city image, but I didn't really like it. So I added another city image on top of it and combined the two of them together so that they'd make this one sort of nebulous place. Then I started adding frogs. I brought them in to the scene. Um, but I couldn't really find all of the frogs that I wanted. So the one here that's jumping, I drew using Photoshop paintbrushes. I changed the size, I moved them around. Then I created this cloud of green goo coming out from our girl along with the frogs. Adjusted that a little bit to give more green in the sky brought a second layer of that to increase the number of frogs and the dispersion, did it again, brought in our singer, um, I increased the green even more and added a little haze to her so she fit in with the scene better. We'll look at one more image. This is the powerful dreamer. 
I didn't um, really like the clothing she was wearing and I needed to extend the image to fit on the screen. So the first thing I did was flip this, although I decided not to do that in the end, but I kept all of the background and put her back in her original place. But now I have a full image that fits the space. I worked on the color a little bit, though it's very hard to tell. Then what I wanted to do was give her new clothing. I thought with all of this blue in it, it would be great to have the complementary color as her gown. And I wanted her to have a gown, just so she's a woman in full. Anyway, I chose to do an orange gown, and I thought the way that I created was using Photoshop's generative AI feature. So I told it that what I wanted was a pumpkin-colored gown, and here's what it came up with. Oh, that's pretty purple. So I then played with the color curves, both the uh, blue, the opposite of which is yellow, and the red, to bring more color into the gown to make it closer to what I wanted. And that's what I got. But it wasn't a perfect fit to her because the sleeves were a little bit transparent, so I filled them. I added some opacity to the dress as well and did some more shadowing and shading. And then I thought she could use um, a little more definition in her shape, so I fixed that too. And there we have her. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to know if there's some one of these processes that you want to know more about. Just put it in the comments below and I'll make a video in the future. Thank you.